Anyway, what this chap realised was that people wouldn't all come and claim their gold at once. Yeah? So he got really clever. And he started giving out more promissory notes than he had gold. And what he hoped was that not everybody would come at once and that there wouldn't be a run on his bank where people come and demand all their notes are taken in and has to cash in the reserves. With occasional bubbles and occasional bursts, this system has maintained since the 1600s and grown and grown and grown. There is a ratio called the debt to asset ratio which is how much the banks have promised compared to how much asset there actually is. And that's how it's changed. This green section at the bottom is the amount of real money in circulation. And that top line is the amount of consumer debt that is held up by promissory notes against the assets that the banks hold. The amount of currency is higher than the amount of assets that the banks hold. Looking at that graph, does it come as any surprise to anybody that it's finally gone pop? <coughs> at the beginning of, sorry, typo, last century, it's the 1900s, the asset to debt ratio, the debt to asset ratio, sorry, was 8 to 1. Ten years ago, we had lent and borrowed so much that the debt to asset ratio of the banks had reached 22 to 1. 